All right. So we got energy crew crews over there. He'll come out once we start walking. Get your collar fixed. I didn't want to do this with the crew because he can get right. I wanted to be able to do the kind of just let him go because crew's real good with it. And he's easily verbally controlled. Dude, don't wrap yourself up. Just come on this way. You're all right. All right. But, and the other part is, oh, that's a good bow. Uh, the other part is he's not good with the just let him fly. So I was worried about the big energy, right? And he's got this kind of nervous excitability. And he didn't do good with the just let him fly with Waylon and them. And they're they're low key. This guy's big energy, so it's over the back. All right. So I like all of this. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take him. What the? Back up. Hold on. Okay. So how are these guys spinning around? Good job. Good boy, crew. Uh-uh. There you go. Good. Right? I didn't want him getting on his back. We're just not going to... But did you see he started to go out there and he started to come off on his own without me really saying anything? So he's sniffing crew, sniffing crew. Good boy. Very nice. Then the next is to see him with toys. All right. I think I might can go ahead and do that. You're a good boy, crew. Good job. So maybe it's because Waylon's intact, right? He's not as pushy with trying to get on Cruz back, even though he tried it a couple of times. Is that because I haven't been letting him practice it? We haven't done that many repetitions. So it could be the whole intact and neutered thing. You're a good boy. Let's see. Oh, very nice. Good job, boys. Good job. Oh, let me get my feet free. Good boy, crew. Ah, 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 ah. Right, so that time he was getting a little pushy with it. I'm just not going to allow it. Good job, dude. Good job, Chico. Good job. All right, so let's let's see what happens with toys. Hold on. You're wrapped up. Hey. Oh, good. So, uh, crew just went to sniff. Chica. Oh, I took the balls out. Oh, no, I didn't. I got a couple. All right. Ready? Now, crew, crew will tend to defer with the balls. 
As in, if Chico's going for one, crew will usually leave it alone. At least that's how he's been with Lexi uh, and with Liv. Well, no, with Liv, you're a little pushy, right? Good. Right, you saw how close crew, uh, crew got. He had the ball and he didn't care. Good boy. All right. So, again, what was it with Waylon? And what was it with the girl? I think it was a girl. I need to, I need to find out. You're a good boy, Chico. So he's pretty good, right? Uh, so. So sometimes with just the one ball, and having competition for the ball is good, but I'm not gonna test that with unknown dogs. I, I just throw a bunch. I would have had them rather have more balls and prevent any kind of conflict, good boy, than to not have enough balls and create a conflict. Oh, ready? You went way past it, crew. Good boy. Right. So this is a good one, I think. Right. <laughs> So, and these guys haven't even walked together yet. They've sniffed through the baby gate in the kitchen, and that's about it. Good job, Chico. Chico! Give me that ball, Chico. Oh! Yeah, good, good, good. Right, they're both going for a ball right next to each other. Doesn't care. All right, so that's good. So, the only thing I've... Oh, and I started to do him on a muzzle, but it was going to take too long. I wanted to see how it would go. It, it just takes too long to get muzzle ready. Ready, one more time. All right, who are you still a little weird about him? He crew doesn't really like getting close. There's a couple of dogs he'll play and kind of wrestle with, but usually when stuff's going on, he'd rather have a little distance. All right, so let's go for a walk. Put you guys up.